<coughs> that is why um, there is a saying in the, uh, the quote at the beginning of the book by Imam Ghazali. And he said that the love making, the love making that they do, that a man and a woman. Uh, okay. 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 So okay. the pleasure that is felt mm -hmm. in sensual intercourse between a man mm -hmm. and his wife is a little sign of the next worldly pleasure from Imam Ghazali and Dr. Ghazali. So all this is about <coughs> sex not just being an antagonistic. Uh, a mechanical or even a pro procreative uh, activity, but it is an activity which can be a form of worship, can be an expression of faith. How that will be achieved? Inshallah, uh, we will answer to some other questions that we see in this slide. Alright, so to bring it nearer to the women folk, not, not just this discussion, it's like we see this beautiful spell on the Chantik Nya. You know, but this new tiara set of a new ring, a glass, you know, that kind of pleasure that we feel when we see something so beautiful, we see the enigma of it, the desire for it. So there is a Ibn Omar Omar Kasman said about Dr. Nya, you know, Jew Lake, that I just make it, you know, more than a few people. So husband wise listen also, right? Just to give your wife pleasure, you know. <laughs> Just keep you know, <laughs> tapi you should understand what it is like. So you dapat then you know the right? Right. So um, I thought that uh, there's a need for us to see sex as as a gift from our wife. And for those who come there, I will just summarize actually what is the main theme of the book. One is that uh, sex is a gift and a privilege given to us, our, our, to us by our and it's part of how we have been created. As much as we are given intellectual, we are given life. So it is in the, in the same spectrum of things. So, yeah. The other thing is that uh, the sexual pleasure and satisfying sex is for, for both men and women. We had, you know, in, I'm sure you have here and there heard of hadiths about sexuality. Actually, they are both balanced. And actually, we will explain to you that in our society, it's very male centric. And women are giving messages that you are here to just serve the man and please him, you know, in that curse by the email, that kind of thing. But I will actually say that there is a two part of the story. The second part about husband having to fulfill the woman's sexual needs, somehow got forgotten. Uh, yeah. So that's part two. Number two is that uh, Rasulullah has given so many hadith, uh, teaching, advice, and insight into the art of lovemaking. You know, it's the art of lovemaking. And uh, how can you imagine that? In the tradition of Islam that you should know that everything will be taught. It's just whether we have understand it in the gift that is presented. And this is what our service is all about. That it's not only about sex, sex so in Islam. And you'll be surprised about people that have quite gini aja tak I think I should cover. <laughs> so Islam <laughs> may be uh, a PG rated or But actually this is the comprehensiveness of Islam. Yeah. Yes. Right. So we want to start with question and answer first. There are a few ways. Do you want to ask us yeah, directly? Or do you want ask. to use QR code? Or there's a certain paper? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. So, with the reality that you only have a little bit, your physicality changes, sometimes you become like a little bit of weight. Yeah. So, you're not necessarily fit, you know, compared to when you, perhaps when you got married, you were much younger. What is the duty of a husband and wife to each other in maintaining their health? Is that a priority? Because it definitely impacts the... Yes the ability for one to perform uh, in the bed, especially uh, with the fact that you know, if you're not you're not healthy, you're unable yeah. to, it's a rigorous activity, right? Yeah. I guess for some, but the reality is, um, how do we go, how do we manage that? Yeah. Right. Uh, Good question, and very multiple level of mm -hmm. response. This is Osman's favorite question. Well, yeah. 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 When, you, <coughs> when you do your fitness, it's not just uh, you know when you talk about uh, what's the word you use? Uh, you don't know. You 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 using the word uh, vigorous activity, something like that. Yeah. Rigorous. What's the word you use? Vigorous. Vigorous. Yeah. It is not as vigorous as jogging, uh, you know. But uh, it it still has an effect in the sense that uh, the normal mechanism that happens uh, gets curtailed. Uh, so because of that. Um, 
the, the, the importance of fitness is important in that sense, uh, that uh, in, in terms of uh, the ability to sense uh, for the men to, to sense the uh, erotic uh, build-up. If the men do not have the ability to sense erotic build-up, uh, we can have what the problem which is called puberty ejaculation. Uh, women, uh, <clears throat> if you lose certain senses, you know, your body actually cannot secrete the, the, the lubricants that are needed for a pleasurable uh, thing that sense. Uh, <clears throat> but if you want, you can be thinking about looking after your health. Don't limit it to because I have to perform on you. Because actually, the, the message, the teaching of the is true. So you should be looking at it from the point of view of a man. Uh, this topic is difficult to discuss even in counseling. And we have to probe and push and, and uh, urge, urge, urge uh, couples to begin talking about it. Because of the issue of body image. You know, when you start talking about it, you uh, put on, put on with. The issue is, you are, are you body shaming me? And then there's a lot of messages that you should not be body shaming me. Now, that message is correct, that you should not be shaming others for their body. But if you use that message to not look after your body, that is wrong. Because, you know, remember, uh, Shaitan is very clever. You, whatever he, you, the, the prophet told you to look after your body, uh, he can use uh, a good message to twist it uh, to make you not. <clears throat> there is a direct example. If you th if you're thinking, uh, actually, can we even be talking to our spouse about, you know, uh, you know you know, that word? Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, there was once the prophet, uh, a companion came to the prophet, and this uh, he wanted to ask something. Before he could even ask, the prophet said, that thing, if it were not, if it were not there, it would be better for you. He was petting and he was watching and he was playing with her. So if you're thinking about uh, body image issue is an issue, uh, is, is, is not Islamic, what did the prophet have to do? The, the prophet actually commends people. Uh, and you, if you look at the Sirai, you know that he is also tough. Uh, he is also athletic. And, uh, one of, one of the reasons is because he looks after, after what he eats and he also eats also he, he look he, he make sure that he he, he used uh, the body that has been given uh, to him <clears throat> so look at it um, holistically whether you are going to have great sex or not great sex because if you think you should be looking after the body only because of great sex then how about people who are not married you know so it must be uh, applicable to everything. So you, you, you must, do, I, I would like to, uh, I would like very much to, to see understand that actually it is an amana given to, to you. This body is the same as the uh, wealth and intellect and uh, position of power and uh, progeny that has been given to you. Or whatever that has been given to you by Rasna is a test. So your, your body is also a test. And this is not just a theory, because there's another hadith. Uh, the one I think I didn't quote. Uh, <coughs> but if you look at our videos, that we have one video on uh, is looking something like, I can't remember the exact title, mm -hmm. something like is looking good important for having sex, something like that. I can't remember exactly. In that one, I posted the hadith. And in that hadith, hadith the Prophet said, when in the day of judgment, four things will be asked of a man his age, his knowledge, is how he uses his wealth and how he uses his body. Actually. So you cannot run away from this. You cannot. I heard, I heard teachers in Singapore and also in Malaysia. One of these two, I got a recording in the video. So there are teachers among us who say, you know, exercise, exercise. Ni orang kafir ni buat. Pasal kita, pasal kita, think of the hereafter. This is the kind of message that. that that our, that some of our that are that in Dalla, um, it is actually contradictory to what the Prophet has said. Mm -hmm. So when you look after your body because of the amana, 
uh, it will benefit your entire uh, health. It will help uh, benefit you spiritually also because it is a form of uh, ibadah. And then it will also benefit you on the uh, You look at it that way. Okay, instead of, instead of uh, start, start to arguing with your wife or that, you should be there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, basically, the important point we have to realize and really uh, integrate is is it is our body or is it what an amanah from Allah? <laughs> and it is right because if you question what you do, what you do with your body, you do with it also your form. Mm-hmm. But we are, I think we make it in our life. Yes, we don't see it as part of our responsibility. And to add to what Osman said just now, if you are, <coughs> uh, let's say, obese, it will have effect on your health. Kencing manis, diabetes, cholesterol, you know, and then kidney problem, sakit kidney, sakit lutut, tak semua yang berjus lah. I think I'm not sure in Malaysia, but in Singapore we have special special section in chest for women who who do to sit. Yeah, so it will really affect our ability to do our our solat, nak to menaiki puasa. So I, I think we need to we look at how we see this comment about oh we put on weight. Women that I know as well as so I really take my head off for it. My head's off for asking, uh, especially to you. So many women around, yeah. Your wife is next to you, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this is my question. Okay, so I, I also want to say. Yeah, I want to say one and all. We actually take a uh, long time to answer one question, so we have also all points. So basically, uh, we can see it as a, a responsibility. I know it's responsibility. He will eat the same food as you are, you know, and, and then he will not be as a nasi. Yeah, so it's actually in the same food. So we have to rethink and rethink back about our physical body and liver, but it was quite obesity, obesity problem. Okay. I remember when I went to the then, okay, this is about the health issue, a very good question. What you discuss, mm-hmm. what you ask is actually discussed in our book on chapter 4 called the Mid-Marriage uh, Drive, which uh, reflect our understanding that Many couples and ish will have issues in their sexual relationship. Okay, so the issue for men is that one, they cannot be erect. Even if they are erect, they can lose that erection. Uh, they just call technical problem. It happens and this is normal. It's not like in the young age, erect tak boleh berhenti. Now tak boleh erect pula pun masalah juga. That's why we have things like Gaza. We have all, and people, I'm not sure about Malaysia, but okay, I think Toka Ali is from Malaysia, right? Uh, uh, people like crazy, like Toka Ali, most people talk Toka Ali. I don't know why they even... They don't even listen to Toka Osman. I don't want to talk to them. But, 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 stuff comes in, your heart and your mind is engaged. Whereas if you approach it the other way, you only get glory stuff. Right? 
And in those situations, usually only the men die. The woman will be left behind, the woman will be killed, she will kill him. This was the usual wear for the dress yes. and how you feel being around your spouse. Um, don't don't get upset with this, but this gender uh, from uh, feedback from other husband uh, so no no so, yeah, yeah. Than, <laughs> uh, so my favorite baju is a baju klawa. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yeah, oh. probably, probably. So the point I'm trying to make is that um, as a husband and wife, and this includes myself also, because I notice that I wear the same juba all the time because I'm comfortable at home. So I guess you come to a comfort zone that you realize that you don't have to look attractive for your partner because hey, you're already married, right? So how do I maintain that attractiveness for my wife? So that she feels happy that oh you know my husband looks good not just outside but also yeah. you know. Oh, cool. So there must, there must be there must be uh, discussion uh, because you cannot assume that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, okay, and then uh, you don't like baju kawa, you have to feel that, mm-hmm. and she must be open enough. Mm-hmm. And you <laughs> wear the juba. <laughs> have you ever asked her? Yeah, how do you find the juba? She hates it. <laughs> Yeah. So you have to, you have to, this is what communication means. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's not so much, you know, if you are handsome, you're always handsome. If you're not handsome, you're still not handsome. <laughs> at the end of the day, but then beauty is the eye of the world. Yeah, that's true. My, my point is, you cannot change what a lot is going to do, but what you can change is what will attract you to this other? It's not so much of your look, but it's the effort that you put in, the attitude, the atmosphere of, uh, you know, of uh, when you try to to look pleasant, pleasing to your your spouse. It means that you care for your spouse, right? You know, whether you explain to her or not, she will feel it, and both of you will feel it. Uh, so, like, like, you know, we have been doing sports, but. I don't look like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger either. It's Batman. just the attempt, you know. <laughs> of course, she looked like the Nicola Tesla. <laughs> 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 um, but you know what? What I asked uh, Nicola is that uh, she looked like the Nicola Tesla. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we spend more time on our phone looking at our IG than with our partner. I, I would imagine that men and women are affected differently. Yeah, so I think we just know, but I just recap just before that. Guys are very similar to visually. I tell you, if I get wala to me, if I get wala pun, I can very interesting. Betul tak? Tak payah jual, tak payah main. You ambil kain sunting apa pun, you beli kat mana-mana pun jadi. Kan? Tak payah beli-beli. 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 You pakai telekom bag kan? Macam tu boleh tak payah apa-apa kat dalam. Pun interesting. Telekom pun jadi. Ini tak percaya ni, balik ni cuba. Buka, buka lelaki ya. You berkembang pun okay. Jangan tak sekarang jangan buat salah lain. So guys are visually affected. It's very easy to arouse them. Women on the other hand is more difficult to arouse because if a wife come to the husband and take up the towel, husband will be affected. Husband come to the wife and take up the towel. Apa ni saya sibuk lah you Panas tau hari ni So that is different So um, it is easy to put up the sex life If you go into this, this dimension yeah. And basically have fun You know right It's about your love for your partner Wanting to, to have fun in sex And we have a hadith actually about having fun in sex It's in a book Tak nak bilang you all Ah, uh, sure, of course. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm, I, from this I want to talk about I'm sure I wonder what I want to tell you How to actually make my wife interested in sex Not about your wife, but generally You want to ask that question Because our men are talking Generally and specifically uh, mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so in this one I prefer to say that normally when we start We, we ask questions generally Because apa pun yang kita tak boleh share the place or our knowledge with friends or Jadi tak, tak ada kena benda dengan siapa Bad man hidup atau yang mati It's a general question Okay, and then uh, some of you can put a side room or you can just be close to But it's, I'm fine with that for you. So long way say, how to make one interested in sex? Because most women uh, not do it. Mm-hmm. So how to make one interested in sex? They have no video. Uh, I think okay, we have a, a chapter in the book called The Elusive Female Desire. I put it this way. Why not the children? Why wives lose their sexual interest? The main reason, and the most reason, especially in marriage, is husband. The main reason why? <laughs> the big reason is husband. It's not because the husband does not answer, or that he will agree, that kind of thing. No. Or to the attitude. Because, uh, this is, uh, and, uh, 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 can I say it's a scientific, uh, but it is a, an opinion by a uh, sex therapist actually. He has written hundreds of, hundreds of uh, findings. So by, by that time, he figured out that the difference between male and female desire is that the male desire is to, um, if men, just having a baby, with desire is a wife. The organs can perform, the reaction can happen. But if you don't have desire, <clears throat> the wife can stimulate that desire. You don't need to touch. Touch like him and me. Sometimes don't even need to appear visually. Suggestion pun boleh. But it doesn't work the other way around with women. Woman, if, you have, if she has desire, she will, be, she will be all over you. But if she doesn't have desire, no matter what you do, no matter you, you may have, no matter what technique that you learn, you cannot turn it on. I say this because there's this book uh, called uh, The High Report of Female Sexuality. And in that uh, book, there's one <coughs> many women in America in the 1980s, 
is, you know, in 1980s, like this is the time where everybody is experimenting with, with uh, sex, the sexual revolution. So uh, they have a lot of sex. So the assumption among men is you have to learn certain things, uh, like the corporate techniques, you know, they, they, they know about the criteria, they know what the criteria is, uh, the criteria is well, well, uh, that is where uh, the center of the female uh, uh, stimulation. But in the high response, the women say they feel so irritated when men target them. This is what the sex books are saying, but the woman says something else. Why? It's because when when uh, when they do that, they feel like the men are not really interested in them as a woman, but they are only interested in getting the woman to get started. Mm -hmm. So because so it is it's just like an object. And we have as our own experience um, in counseling, uh, women telling telling uh, us. Saya rindas lah dengan apa tu suami saya asyik gitu gitu gitu. But then is what he was taught. So what you have to understand for women is that you must be desirable. And what make a man desirable to woman is not the body actually, but it is actually the attention. The it's actually your your desire towards her as a human being. And not to her uh, beauty or to her body or especially not to her genitals, but to her as a human being, meaning for her, her feeling, her thinking, her condition, her situation, uh, you know, her whatever she, she, she wants. It's another example. It's, not that. it's the same point. You heard of the name of the word Kasalua. Uh, it's actually a historical thing. It's not just a noun. Mm -hmm. He lived in 17th century Italy, and he wrote a memoir in French. Uh, in French. Uh, I've not, I've not <coughs> had a chance to read the book, but I've read analysis of the book, of the memoir. And in there, he said that he has never attracted women with money and force, and, but he thinks that he's, the key to his, uh, to his success, so to speak, uh, is attention. All he can, all he is good in, is give woman attention. Now, well, you know why? What the problem is that? Could you imagine that if your, if a Buddhist wife go home from work, from work with the boss, with the boss, what would yeah. the husband usually say? Ah, we have been very busy, you know. <laughs> Actually, she, she had one, one case where the husband so worked up, the husband went to see the boss. The wife is saying, no, the, I don't have a solution. But I, just, I, I don't want his solution. All I want is to, for him to, to listen. Because see, what men don't understand is when woman is doing this, it's actually uh, processing her. Uh, so if you then, uh, all you need to do is to say that, but don't be plastic, like, you know, mm, 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 you know, you know, you really uh, then to analyze, to analyze and to talk to, uh, in the end, if the solution comes from her, it is not only with his wife, but even with our clients as well, if the solution comes from the client, they, they take ownership of the, of the solution and they can do it better rather than uh, that's why we seldom give advice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Uh, we listen, and then sometimes we don't need the answer, but we get up, get up, get up, until they arrive at the answer. Mm -hmm. If they come to the answer, they will own the, answer, the, the, the solution, and they will. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so this is an advice mm -hmm. for men that are married and men that are not married. <laughs> so the, the thing is about the attention to the wife will turn into a woman. And I always say, uh, for a woman, if you can do before she asks, score point tak? Tahu saya sibuk hari ni, dia kena tak apa, nanti saya pergikan bojak yang she girl, you nak apa lagi? Before she asks, you ask, you dah, dia dah call you and bilang, score point tak? That means you understand lah. Uh, you create attention, you understand her, score point lah, right? you'll be very happy. Apa yang kita rasa if husband can offer to do something before we ask? 
If you can do that, it's a bonus. Huh? Uh, at least you, 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 you are, that, that will really attract your wife. Yeah, we'll set her on. But, uh, the, but the woman should not be demanding because women also can have this problem. You should understand. You too can get any problem. So you must, you don't take it the other way around. It is a bonus that if a man can do that. Yes, and the man can actually hone your skill uh, if you give more attention. He's actually concerned about her well being. And so you ask about Puan. Kalau tidak, she asks Kami buat lah. Bila tunggu tiga kali, so you go sana mana, tak tahu kan. Tapi Kami tanya bahawa Puan. So, because it means you're concerned about her and her well being. And that you want her not to be too worried. Because a lot of women, you know, they balik kerja, they bawa bed, they kena masak, they can settle children, do at their housework, you know, kalau ada any carers or you know, have to attend to them. So they really have a lot of function, work functions, and therefore, by the time they go to bed, kenapa dia tengah duduk, tengok handphone, main main chess ke, main game, and then you want to expect her to be hot and to come in. You know, she's really very irritated to see you lying in bed half an hour, and she's still looking at her phone. So the attending needs to be done. But I do also understand that in our Malay culture, and also of course, the first culture in the Western society, our men are the are much learned by their family. So they are pampered by their mother, by their sister, by their grandmother. So when they get married, they thought that their wife should do that. But why sometimes got too many things to do? So you learn to be, I mean, we look at the, the sunnah of the Prophet, he was known at home, he didn't have to be sad. He didn't have to be sad. He didn't have to be All this, he could have been this woman, but it is, it is his food. Because if you can do that, you really help people. You increase the wife's happiness with him, and then she's happy with you. And then she'll be around. I tell you, any husband try, I hope they say, then my young woman says, okay, I do have children and their homework. Supervise and share homework that. Betul tak? Happy tak? For those who have, I'm not sure about Malaysia, but Singapore education for women is stressful. Yeah, same, same. Same about the same. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
<coughs> never. They, they never take the the the, the, the initiative to, to to ask. And if he, and part of the reason is because they he does not have the skill to ask without hurting feeling. So that is also your responsibility, the responsibility as a as a man. So whether we like it or not, we we actually have to. Because a lot of our, when you read the book, you, a lot of um, male chauvinists may find fault in, in, in that we are blaming, that as if we are putting a lot of blame on men. Actually, no, we are putting a lot of responsibility on men. <coughs> but when you talk about leadership, um, men leadership, in the area of uh, sex and intimacy, it cannot be leadership by commandment. It cannot be leadership by instruction. It cannot be leadership by critic. Uh, even though the critic, you may you may have your point, you can take correct, but it cannot work when it comes to intimacy. You cannot command somebody to 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 want you. You cannot command, you cannot command the heart. So the leadership in this area, maybe in other areas like uh, family finance, you know that maybe you can use the uh, in by by commandment, you know that. Uh, not really so but debatable, yeah. but this one, especially in this case of intimacy, you you cannot use leadership by commandment. You must be leadership by uh, example, Paul Harvey. All husband, one wife to be attractive. Leadership by uh, example means you have to be attractive first. Lah. You have to ask yourself, you have to ask your wife, am I attracting you? Have I been attracting you? And then your wife will tell you. And you'll be surprised. One of the things that you will tell you is not so much that you can you go to the gym and come here. <laughs> she will tell you, can you, for example, can you help to bathe my father every day? You know, can you help to wash the toilet? <coughs> this is more romantic to especially to urban wives these days because uh, in this man too much men are. many of us cannot afford uh, to support our family every time single income you always need your wife to go to work and you cannot you cannot behave like your forefathers like you behave like a king you 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 must share the load Alright, so does it make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hearing from to the yeah. point. So I need to have some precaution because I don't want nothing from you. I can then complain. Eh? Mm. When I happen, it's this. I balik eh, the, the revolution. I'm happy as I do. So I was not going there. So this is an issue when we only have women and not couple. Because mm. when we have two parties, it's easy mm. for them to be complain. So for the wives here or wife to be and hear to hear this message is to know that. Uh, you have this message, but the men folk at home maybe need to warm up to it. You also cannot command. Eh, you have to talk. 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 I think you have to talk. You have to talk. That's what we do. Eh? This is also one of the burden of women and women. So, you is that I always believe we start the conversation, the team start with us. Okay, and I had a workshop with women. And what I tell them is that, you know, you cannot change husband, but you change a bit of your action and behavior, and that will affect you. For example, every time, kalau macam, dia nak tahu nak penat lah, tunggu besok lah, you know, and you do something else that you seduce him first, you have him sexually, and see whether that will create a change. You know, and then, uh, it has to start with that. It has to start sometimes with you, yeah. sometimes you are going, tak apa! <laughs> change has to start for the one who got the knowledge and information and there are many books about how to communicate better or whatever but basically I feel at the end of the day this book men and women need but men more sensitive men need to respect others they need us to stay around we do a good job <coughs> and we need to appreciate it you know do you know that I was so hard to bring money to feed you all you know I mean, you never say thank you bang. Can I get that? Can I get that? 
<laughs> yeah, do we appreciate that? You know, I need to, uh, you know, if we do that, then I mean, your husband will be too bad, but it's, it's, it's not the position of appreciating him when he's being paid as it is. Yes, it's not from you all because when I say the monthlies, you get the you say that half by time. Now, this I can say. But it starts with that. Uh, furthermore, the dad, um, maybe the causes about how to improve your relationship, gender relationship, you have to you have to go and read up this. There are many books on how to work on your marriages. I think some of them are really good here. You know, you go to our website, so there are a few books that we have quoted. And it's really, uh, we understand the importance of respect for this thing. So to me, it can be as simple as uh, telling, uh, having children, have you, if you're not happy with your husband mm-hmm. not contributing in household mm-hmm. and whatever, have you ever tell him? You know, or you know, he, he, he actually could understand and could accept. Have you ever done this? Uh, can you just help him to do this? If you feel like we can, uh, uh, let's say, like for example, like, can you just have uh, wash the dishes? Yeah. I cook, uh, I cook after uh, we buy everything. You just uh, wash the dishes with really, us. Uh, you you were telling me to uh, yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, of course, you know, we are going on. How can you tell me? Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> 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 Does that, does that mean that we need to have so many different sets of skills? Like for example, communication skills. And so how do, how do we get all of this? No? Naturally, we, if, I, 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 if I accuse all of you, eh, the two people are set better than the guy. That's true. That's true. Why? We say more. We do that because we can. And it's actually not bad to tell you. If you can remember that and just be gentle. You know, the husband will depend. So I'm in my courses that I did in Singapore. After two weeks, actually, actually the woman is amazing. And I was teaching my auntie that. When you talk to the husband and when I said to him, Auntie, yeah, okay, I can do this. Uh, I have one wife who, who asked her husband, Ma, CPF too, you talk about I talk to you. She has like a uh, compulsory contribution from work for a salary. And the husband said, No, yeah, you know, you don't care for me, okay, yeah, okay, okay, I'll, I'll just put some to you, I'll put your name as long as you. So we need, need to have this conversation. But sometimes we get too busy with other things that we don't need. It's, okay, first of all, I tell Kalau tambah school no maybe boleh. Boleh start at it. Then secondly, Iman, can you give the paper and the and the pen around, and you just post your question here. It it will be more convenient, and then you can just you will collect the paper. Each one type of paper we tend to have also doesn't matter. Yeah, you just post it. Then she will give a box to put it in. Because I feel because community are different. In Singapore, they actually use Slido. It's an app. So I just type the same type. So my my point about the world is that actually and bagi nak share because there are men here. <laughs> We're the minority. Yeah, no, I don't have to know all this, all this knowledge. <laughs> so number one, actually woman has a lot of power in controlling her family. Because we know what to do to be ha- make them happy or when we are unhappy, we know how to give messages to them. And mm-hmm. we can receive a message. Yeah. And to you, you know, but you, you, I will have to be messy, but you will know. Yeah. Uh, secondly, one of the important skills is what I call sandwich effect. It's like to you, but then sandwich when you say the Allah's got what? She has been made message to the people. But I think so far, uh, thank you. Uh, you've been washing the dishes and blah blah blah. Okay, the first time you thank you for that. But I think I need you to wash by 10 o'clock. <laughs> so that is the message. And I think, but anyway, it was very good. I'm so glad you helped me so much in doing this. Good message. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Giving ni is every two hour care. Yang dah ada yang dah besar eh, sampai dia uh, what, one year, kau rasa tak baik, dua tahun. Every two hours dia wake up. Okay, so you get the gift of time to do. For this kind of thing, what we will encourage is that Kau tu rasa macam tu dah malam dah pernah dan macam nak ada sex on that So we say that, sometimes you don't have to say that There is a lot of things that you must have said between 10 to 12 You're so tired, you know, you, you know what people, what we are saying is that You sleep a bit early as, as much as you can, you wake up Instead of waking, waking up at 6 o'clock possible, wake up at 5.30 Kau nak lebih, wake up at 5 yeah. So, you know, you get, then you feel fresh and you have time for each other. Yeah. So, sex can be used to distress. Mm. Yeah, it's really about the people who have more sex have less mental health issues. Mm. Uh, other than that, uh, your child will one day grow up. And your child, when you let's say six, seven years old, whatever age, when you give him or her the attention and work, you're not important to them anymore. You will have more couple time. <laughs> so you want to give a child handphone for us? You have more time. Of course, I'm not saying that. Huh? Okay, <laughs> they need give a handphone as much as possible. But uh, they will actually have their just one single family school, secondary school. So as for us, we we maintain our own interest the thing that we do, and we maintain our our kids there. There, she needs a fully purchased stone for my daughter. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you have to have that work balance, lah. Does not answer yeah. your question? Yeah, I think so. I think it's really just about penciling it in, right? Yes. But without overshadowing it. I think there's also that balance of like yes. Of yeah, climbing by more like <laughs> when to yeah. At the end of the day we are going to be a couple. She's going to go overseas, study and yeah. do hostel. Yeah. So you need to have a couple of that. And be a partner in in a and parenting. Mm. We spend hours talking about it. Tadi buat macam ni, aku nak buat eh, discussing macam nak angle, nak bincang, macam ada, ada buat meeting itu tau. Mm. Uh, next video dia kita execute. Is it supposed to be review lagi? <laughs> she does, it was so trade secret that she doesn't know. Because it's a serious business to take a child. We are looking at developing her character, her soul. Mm. And that's how the she said, I thought that it was very funny, you know. And especially in Singapore, the education stress. We, have, we do discuss a lot of how to handle it. Any character. Anyone who's mother know that your child will chaba you, will be rude, will have hell tone, high tone to you. <laughs> that is just the way they are. We have to learn to manage it without making anything as well. That will be a parenting talk, but we don't have any talk. Okay. Never mind. So, does any more questions about this? Because we already have quite a number of questions. Do you want to answer the one here or there? Because we have one question just just now it's already answered. Uh, yeah, like, uh, for example, like my and Amal's generation where they drive access and in the mid to late 40s now, we are seeing a trend of the midlife crisis and marriages in our circle mm -hmm. yeah. are filling out after 22 years, mm -hmm. like over years. Okay. Like, we tahan this marriage for 20 over years and then suddenly we have 25, 26 years, 7 years, then the marriage will come in. Yeah, yeah it's happening. And you know, yeah, it's, it's, really it's very common, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, divorces in the 50s actually more the higher percentage of mm -hmm. guys. Yes. So you want to know why it is happening? Yeah, I mean, because it's happening to all of us. I see quite a number of yeah. your friends that do. Yeah. Um, it's midlife crisis. That's what we call it. Uh, not, not really. Not really. Actually, what happens is that people get tired. You know, year two, year first few years, you can tie high and tolerate. But along the way, you know, if you just get tired, then your needs are not fulfilled. Not only sexually, emotionally. Because sometimes, I will see more divorce are, are, are asked by the women than men. I'm not sure about Malaysia, but in Singapore, anyone have this idea? It's the same. It's Pretty much the same. Yeah. 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 Listed like 10 different things a woman has an issue with men yeah. and men, but, and then women, I think, even more than And this is after 20 years yeah. of being together, so it's yeah. So, we basically, Tate Gama Al Abila, Kita Rasa Pai Pipal, I think one of the reasons is that uh, you don't have a reason to hang on. Yes. Uh, children see you grow up, especially if you are independent woman. And then there's nothing for you in the sex. Yeah. Uh, so what's the point? Uh, 
so I think that is a good thing if you want to why yeah. I think it is a, a very right thing to take a chance to find your voice. So is the person you play or the individual <coughs> find their voice? So, the question is how to prevent this happening. So let's speak about the reason. Eh? So uh, you find your voice to that. <coughs> there's nothing in the marriage, and then you are stronger. And then sometimes parents are not around. Mm -hmm. So you you care to do this. I have my chin at 55 years old to ask for divorce. So I say, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to do it. So that happens. For the younger generation, I think it's a self actualization that's mm -hmm. need to be more important. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is the question. How to be done? How, 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 okay, this is self actualization, but I mean, for me, I understand marriages as a partnership. Yeah. So it's two parties, right? I, I agree to marry you because I want to mature or grow up with you. But if everybody is looking at marriages, then it's like, oh, I, I suddenly have a bright spark, I want to be myself. Then, of course, it will. So does the marriage fulfill obesity of love, tranquility, and mercy? Or do I think so after 20 years and look at my husband, where is the love in my marriage? Why are we still at each other? So love also also is a funny thing, huh? It's not like grrr, 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 we see in TV, Romeo and Juliet, or when they look at me and go to the sunset, huh? it doesn't happen. After almost 30, 40 years of marriage, I don't have that intense feeling for Usman. That one died, finished by two, three years. That's not true, yeah? But what I have to say is, is a loving relationship, my soulmate. I come back to chat about the most random thing. I'm not interested in football, supper, ni, mosalam, ni, turunan. Why did I do this? Oh, ni, mosalam, ni, turunan. Why did I do this? Oh, ni, mosalam, ni, turunan. Why did I do this? I even told his mom, buku mos, buku kita ni, kita hantar tak mosalam. Boleh baca, masuk internet, or viral, man. I I get it, this is what you think of bola dulu, macam Malaysia and Singapore, okay, yeah. So, we have that common interest, and then, I just enjoy talking to him. I just love it. It's not that you have to enjoy it. One, one of the reasons, we, one of the uh, aspects that you have to look into is the wholesome intimacy. Um, the intellectual intimacy uh, is not about having the same educational level. Uh, it is about being comfortable uh, expressing uh, your thoughts. So, um, uh, six uh, men can marry a, a professor, a professor woman, as long as the professor respects uh, his views and encourages his, him to, to express his view. If the if the the man feel uh, feel seek uh, to express it, that is the meaning of intellectual intimacy. Uh, it's not it's not so much about um, must be same level. <coughs> so the same thing with emotional uh, intimacy. You know, the <coughs> not having emotional emo intimacy is having to skirt around your your spouse's uh, feelings. Uh, that you are you are afraid of stepping on his toes. Uh, if you if if you have that, you don't have that emotional. So how how do you uh, have this? Is to assure each other, uh, express your feeling. Uh, don't be angry. Don't be scolding. Um, and, and and you can assure each other to to, to tell each other when you are not happy, when you are happy, when you are you can support that is when you develop uh, your emotional. So all this intimacy. Uh, they, Okay, so there are five types of intimacy. Uh, you can easily Google. I think I have one poster on it in the book. Eh? Intellectual. Okay, it means we, we can share at the same level. Like, I have friends who is a graduate and the husband is a family fire education. And then we can uh, Emotional. It means we are implicit for each other and then you can validate each other's feelings. It's not like, uh, yeah, actually, I'm quite upset that this happened. Not lah, you not upset lah, you're sensitive. So you negate the Not the man here. The man outside. The man here is not what I'm like. That's not affirming. Okay, and then there's social intimacy. Okay, I want to give an example of social intimacy. Um, this is good. This is, this happens. 
<clears throat> one of the things, one of the aspects which uh, has has brought this transformation, this kind of um, society, the urban society. One aspect we could we, we always regret is there was uh, in, uh, because uh, we forget when we marry, most of the time when we marry them, her ambition was stranded. Because we have a society, the men must, must be the, must be the man. Yeah. Uh, and because of that, we stand there. <clears throat> and um, when you develop so uh, wonderful in, 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 in economy, in social economy, in sometimes even political sense, uh, and she still alone at home, no, no development, it can be a dispensation that you get get in the social system is very important. And we say this because we have three cases uh, where they still, because of the distance, because of the lack of social distances, two cases to such an extent that the husband has no, the husband has, has developed so advanced uh, in, in his uh, social, uh, his career, even in political position, uh, that he has no respect for the wife who remains as, as, uh, as a housewife, and he became, and he became, uh, he became abusive. Because, but there's one case where the husband was not abusive. It's more hard rendering, hard rendering, because during negotiation, the husband tells the, the counselor who's working on it, whatever that the wife wants, give, because I believe she is a good wife. But they have developed so different trajectory that I can't relate to her. And then the wife also agreed to her. So they have to speak. So this one is interesting because they all start like acting officer in a bank. Okay, and he's actually a convert. But then uh, he he managed to even get a master in finance and became a really digital manager of that company. You know, quite a lot, I think. And the one just at home, preparing his kids for his business, taking care of the children, they have uh, mm. quite, have, quite have a, a good house, a car and all that. But he felt that, I cannot connect with her at moment. Mm. You know, she's nothing, or she's a perfect wife. And then he feels that, yeah, she needs to it. It's very sad. And in those kind of situations, is there a possibility for you to reverse that? Or like, what are, as a professional, what would your recommendation? Yeah. Like, splitting of us is like a worst case scenario, right? Yeah, but you know, normally the concept, by the time they came, came and see us, this problem yeah. had happened yeah. about five, ten years. Oh. So that they have been like, cannot really, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they cannot really, uh, yeah, so they need to use more information. <coughs> so when you talk about that particular case, so the best thing that you can do is that you uh, let them speak to the family, family. Mm -hmm. and then make sure that they learn uh, the lessons mm -hmm. so that they don't. Mm -hmm. It's better rather than trying to catch up the marriage and then they are not happy with each other. Because they're not laid down or everything. He just felt that he has no help. And he felt, she offers and he to tolerate. He felt that I'm not being friends with her because I'm not loving her as her husband. Mm -hmm. And this was happening to me. And there was no affair and all that type thing. So, related to this, <coughs> uh, the common uh, approach by couples to, to catch up this intimacy. Is to use sex, uh, you know, in general, uh, give me an analogy. To use sex to develop your intimacy is like putting Lionel Messi in, you know, Singapore football team. <laughs> 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 you put Lionel Messi in Singapore, you think you can win the World Cup? <laughs> the the entire team will be successful. Lionel Messi also will be successful. <laughs> spiritual intimacy. Uh, there must be some like to do close together, you know. I, I had a, a party who was don't understand why the wife wants to divorce him. So it's about fifty years old by the time. So we just do something side to do with clubbing, you know, uh, you know, you know, do must be moody and then must be then because I said the guy thing about that you can juggle side. 
and Bapak Pakci masih terambil lah. Yeah, but the virus healing, so you cannot take mm. it anymore. That's good. Ah, that's a speech show that is very quite fun. But so we as a couple, <coughs> right in Singapore and Malaysia, there's many times we study together. And mostly for the skill, for the people who are in the field, so the set, yeah. they also will cause problem. Mm. Okay, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the, so the, the, the let me no, let me finish the analogy. Uh, because why I say uh, sex uh, is like Lionel Messi because sex is a powerful thing. Uh, if you put Lionel Messi in a deep in a, it will become a wonderful thing. Uh, if you in Singapore, he also will become true. Uh, so your sex will make your your entire life a disaster. If sex itself actually is a cause of many issues, because you have not developed the intellectual intimacy. That's why oh, we have postponed this. Uh, the verse is this is the verse which uh, the last verse. This is the verse which the prophet uh, tells us to differentiate our sex from the animal animal sex. Mm -hmm. yeah, the very 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 the he created for you from yourself mates that you may find tranquility in them, and he placed between you love and esteem. Indeed, in that assigned for the people to be taught. Okay, so, uh, this, this is the verse. Uh, this is the verse. Uh, the uh, the messenger. Uh, the messenger. Right. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay, that's right. Why for it, right? Stop it. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, page hundred and six. Let none of you fall suddenly upon his wife like an animal. Let there be a, be a messenger between the two. And when someone asks what is the messenger or prophet, he say, he sing and words of them. So the messenger between the two is the concept which the prophet wants us to have. Uh, unfortunately, we are taken in by Western concepts that we, even many Muslim uh, Mufassirin also, uh, as an <coughs> will, trans will um, not translate, but um, Tafsir is what? Translate. Most of you understand Malay also, right? Yeah. Yeah. They understand Malay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many, many Mufassirin will Tafsir uh, the messenger between the two mm. as for play. It is for play is part of it, but it is not for play. Only. Because the prophet is talking about perhaps let there be a messenger between the two. The prophet is not talking about between sex and non-sex. The prophet is not talking about if the prophet is talking about poppy, he would use words like mukadima. You know the word mukadima, yeah. yeah. But the prophet say Rasul between the two, meaning he must be with you all the time. Now. So this is talking, he is referring to this kind of intimacy that we need to have. The sensuality when he when he used kissing and words. You, you look at those like kissing, what kissing means. Yeah? Kissing actually involves your, your entire uh, five senses. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, in a good kiss, you involve all these senses actually. And then the, the, words, the words of love is actually uh, communication uh, which actually allows you to share uh, your emotion. Because the emotion cannot be seen, right? So you have to express it uh, in terms of uh, language. So what the prophet wanted us to have is to have this uh, sensual and emotional intimacy, and then it will lead towards uh, the more intimate, the more uh, <coughs> the, the more gross stuff, uh, the more the sexual. Part. Uh, uh, sexual. So when when the when the sexual thing happens through this way, your entire personality will be, will be involved. So okay, that is 